In this video, we will be comparing D3500 and D3400, two entry-level DSLR cameras by Nikon. Nikon D3500 was introduced to market in August 2018 and Nikon D3400 was launched in August 2016. As you can see, D3400 is two years older than D3500. Let's see if this age difference between two cameras makes a big difference. D3500 and D3400 are members of Nikon's D3000 series of cameras. Below you can find the latest models from the series. Nikon D3400 vs D3500 similarities. Both cameras have a very high quality APS-C sensor with an ISO range enabling work in low light conditions such as indoor scenes and outside at night. The autofocus system and continuous shooting feature let you work with action shots, sports, pets and never still children, with confidence. The image format for both DSLRs is a DX, crop format sensor. This is sometimes referred to as a PSC or CMOS sensor. Moving on and up there's a full range of Nikon lenses to extend your range of work right across the range of Nikon DSLRs on offer. So as you upgrade in the future to another Nikon camera, you'll be able to keep the lenses and use them on future cameras. DSLR video capture has quickly become an established high performance tool since Nikon introduced it in 2008 and both the D3400 and D3500 provide video format as Full HD, 1920 by 1080 pixels at frame rates up to 5 tips slash 6 tips. As the video mode allows you to film up to 6 tips, this enables you to slow your footage down in post-production to smooth slow motion video. The video is good quality, but on both cameras, this is probably better for short clips rather than trying to capture a whole football match. But for capturing video clips or some longer sections of video, that can of course be pieced together later into longer films than video editing software. Both cameras offer fantastic video capabilities for their price point. Above all, whichever camera you choose, all the features on offer are built into a quality built camera with an easy to see 3 inch LCD screen on the backlight. Neither camera has weather sealing, but both are well built and sturdy cameras. Packed with up to date features at a quality level, both the Nikon D3500 and Nikon D3400 give extremely high quality for an entry-level camera. They are perfect cameras for travel, street photography, family and hobbies such as classic cars or trains. Nikon D3400 vs D3500 Differences Sensor and Processor For starters, both of the DSLRs under investigation here feature an APS-C sensor, delivering potential first-time Nikon users a 24.2 million pixel effective resolution. Both DSLRs also feature the fourth generation of their manufacturer's processor, for Nikon that's the XP4. The combination of sensor and processor on both is claimed to produce results that are richly detailed. Nikon, in contrast to say Canon, Panasonic or Sony, tends to favor more naturalistic results that you might want to tweak later yourself to add a bit of added visual dynamism and punch. Nikon D3500 vs Nikon D3400 Video These starter DSLRs offer the ability to shoot up to full HD quality video clips of less than 30 minutes maximum duration alongside still images. There's no 4K video option here then, but that's no surprise, due to the fact that these are relatively inexpensive entry levels DSLRs. On the Nikon D3400, there are a variety of frame rates selectable when shooting full HD 1920 x 1080 pixels video clips, including being able to achieve a maximum video frame rate of up to 59.94, the other options being 50, 29.97, 25, and 23.976. Alternatively, users can choose to save the capacity of their media card by shooting a less data hungry 1280 x 720 HD clips. Still, manual control over exposure may be enabled in video mode and instances of rolling shutter are only ever an issue of panning with the camera at speed. Nikon D3500 vs Nikon D3400 Burst Shooting FPS Maximum continuous capture speed for the Nikon D3400 and its near D3500 sibling remains at 5 frames per second, which, while better than the 3 practically all DSLRs in this price bracket would once offer, is not going to make them any photographer's first port of call when choosing a model for sports or action photography. Still, performance here remains adequate for most casual shooting situations, like tracking the kids and pets running around, and if primarily shooting JPEG. 
the cameras will undoubtedly face more of an insurmountable challenge when shooting raw files in bursts. There are better cameras that offer a better frame rate if you're prepared to spend more than you would do on these general-purpose budget offerings. Nikon D3500 vs Nikon D3400 AF System Both the original D3400 and the more recent D3500 take the if it ain't broke don't fix it approach, in employing the same phase detection autofocus system with 11 selectable focus points and one cross-type sensor, specification pretty much in line with most entry-level, budget price DSLRS, with said points arranged in a diamond-like formation. The fact that this specification has altered one job between successive generations of this starter DSLR indicates its maker wants to maintain some degree of separation between its entry-level DSLR and more premium-priced APS-C models. Nevertheless, Nikon maintains that its D3500's AF system will keep subjects razor-sharp, even when they are on the move, 